Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm very excited to do this video because this is actually my first time to do a monthly favorites video. So I hope <laughs> I hope I'm consistent with this and I'll be able to do another like monthly favorite like next month and so on and so forth. But yeah, before I start, I'm sorry I'm filming outside because I've been wanting to film because I don't have any videos posted right now and I wanna like edit and do something so I decided why not at the end of March. It's already April actually when I post this one. I'm sorry about this pimple over here. It's actually, it stopped growing already. This is the kind of pimple that stays there for so long. It's so big, it's so huge and I can't cover it because it's protruding. So no matter how much concealer or whatever I put on top of it, it's still going to be seen. So I'm sorry, it looks so weird. Like I'm actually getting distracted about it. And also about the lighting. It's 25 p.m. so the sun is super high up. And I, re I really want to film this already so I have no, no other choice. I'm sorry about that. I don't even know how it will look like. I'm saying sorry in advance if the lighting is so bad and the background noise as well. So if you guys are interested to know what my March favorites are, just keep on watching because I'll be showing you guys right about now. Just think of this as a mole, an additional mole to my face because it's so huge. It looks like one. Anyway, it's gonna be categorized into four. So I'll be showing you guys beauty favorites, skincare favorites, hair favorite, and bag favorites. That's what I have to show you guys for today's video. So first, I'm gonna be showing you guys my skincare favorites. The first thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is this all clean, it's still in the box. It's this all clean balm by Hamish. If you saw my skincare haul video, this was there. So I just got this this month, but I've been using it. And if you know double cleansing, this is actually an oil cleanser which you do before your water cleanser or your gel cleanser. This one really removes your makeup and any like dirt or sebum, excess sebum. I love this so much because when I use this, it's so soft and it makes my skin feel moisturized. Since it's an oil cleanser, it doesn't leave an oily residue. So that's nice because when you wash it, it becomes, it becomes like a milky substance. So it really removes everything and it won't feel oily after. So I love this so much. It's less than 1000 so it's an affordable skincare product. So yeah, this is the first skincare favorite that I have for this month. And then the next favorite is this Claire Supple Preparation Facial Toner. This one was also in my skincare haul actually. But I love this one so much because after I wash my face, my face gets kind of dry since I have dry skin and I don't know, my face really gets dry easily. So it gets drying and after, after cleansing you use toner. When I use this, it's very hydrating and moisturizing. Like I use a cotton pad or cotton balls and I gently wipe it all over my face and my, f my face doesn't feel drying anymore. So yeah, it's a very gentle toner which is great for my skin. I have very sensitive skin. I have eczema, if you know that. The next thing that I have for skincare favorites is this BHA Blackhead Power Liquid by Cosrx. This one is such a great product if you have blackheads. Like, I was searching for blackhead products, skincare products for blackheads and whiteheads and all that. And I found this one. I Before I bought it, I was like looking at reviews and all that. What it does is it clears out your blackheads because it goes through the pores and it like pushes it out. So whatever is in there, parang it dissolves it. And also this can prevent blackheads from growing. Because my nose gets so rough, you can feel the blackheads when you touch it. When I started using this one, after I put this on, it instantly became so smooth like it's like there are no blackheads at all and it did minimize my pores which is a really great product like i love this so much and when i stopped using this for a few days my nose started to get rough again so this is this product really works this is also less than a thousand and also the toner so they're very affordable skincare products and they work really well. The last thing I'm going to be showing you guys for skincare favorites is this lip sleeping mask. 
this one is actually just the smaller size. It's just 3 grams. And there's actually a bigger size. I think you can buy it in Althea Beauty Manila for like 700 something pesos. But this one I got on Shopee a long time ago. It was in a Shopee haul video of mine. I'll put the link up here. I love this so much because as you know, I have dry skin. Even my lips get so dry, like it's so patchy. But when I apply this at night, because this is a lip sleeping mask, so you, you only use this at night. The way it feels, it's not like a lip balm because you can really feel the product on your lips because it's really thick. But what it does, it really moisturizes your lips. Like. The next morning when I wake up, my lips are so smooth. A little goes a long way because I've been using it a lot but there's still a lot of product. And this is the small the small size has. So if you get the big one, it's gonna last a long time. And it's so cheap, less than a thousand also. Most of my products are focused more on moisturizing and hydrating because my type of skin is dry. So yeah, if you guys are looking for moisturizing products or hydrating products, then these are the products for you guys. Next category I'm going to be showing you guys is the beauty favorites for this month. And it's not a lot actually, it's just two items. The first thing that I'm going to be showing you guys is this Bello Tinted Sunscreen. I did a review on this actually, I, ha I have a video on this and I'm going to put the link here. What I love about this product is it's two in one. It serves as a sunscreen and it also serves as a very light um, foundation, light coverage foundation. <laughs> so, yeah, I love this so much because it's only like 450 pesos. So, it's so cheap and it's already 50 ml. So, the size is just right. So, when I apply this product, it evens out my skin tone. It's very light, like, barely covers your dark spots or your blemishes but it does even out your skin tone which is a great thing since this is a sunscreen it's part of your daily routine so since it already evens out your skin tone if you want to cover up more you can use like a light coverage foundation on top of it or a bb cream or something whatever you have but what i do is i just use my concealer i put it under my eyes and then some of the dark spots just to cover it up and then that's it this is already enough for me for an everyday like makeup look the next thing I'm going to be showing you guys is this Skin Genie Lip and Cheek um, Stain. This was in my Beauty Manila haul video. <laughs> All my products are actually new but I've been using them. Honestly, I've only been using the Christmas Red, the shade Christmas Red. And I've been loving this because you guys know my everyday like blush is the Tarte one. But ever since, I've been using this as my blush and my lipstick because it doesn't feel like anything on my lips and when I use this as my blush, it has a natural finish. Parang it's your skin. It really blends out well. I love this color so much, Christmas Red. I'm actually wearing the creamy peach on my lips and then the Christmas Red on my cheeks. So I love this one. It's only 80 pesos each. And what's great about this, it smells really good. When you apply it on your cheeks, you can smell like it's like candy-like smell. You can only smell it when you're applying it and then you won't smell it now afterwards. The next thing I'm gonna be showing you guys is the hair favorite. And it's just a favorite because it's only one product. So if you also saw my Beauty Manila haul, this was also there. Stylista Coconut Hair Mask. And this one smells so good. I've actually used it twice this month and whenever I use this because I, I apply this after I use my shampoo and conditioner so I leave it on for 20 minutes and then afterwards I wash it off but when you wash it off it doesn't leave an oily residue like it washes off very quickly that's a plus for me because I hate oily before I used to put like coconut oil on my hair just to soften it and when I wash it off it's, it gets so oily but when I try this one, it's not oily at all when you wash it off. Like, it really washes everything off. And my hair, it gets super soft. And it actually smells so good. For a coconut product, I love the smell so much. If you open it up, oh, it smells so good. I've only used it twice, but there's still so much product. Like, I think this will last a long time. When I saw this one in Beauty Manila, I was like, I want to try it out because I want to start taking care of my hair just as I want to start taking care of my skin. So there. So the last thing I'm going to be showing you guys, last category, are my bags favorite for this month. 
So the first one is, as you know if you saw my what's in my bag video, is the, this Fendi bag. It's actually a vintage crossbody bag from Fendi because I found this one in my mom's closet in our old house. For a very old bag, it's actually still in good condition. It's, it's not that big, it's not that small, it's kind of medium sized, but it fits a lot of it fits a lot of items. There are actually no items in here, just a couple of cards and paper because I transferred it to another bag. I just recently got a new bag as well. Not so new, but but yeah, I love this one. And the new bag that I was talking about is this next one I'm gonna be showing you guys. So it's this LV um, shoulder bag. This one is also vintage because I also saw this in my mom's closet just before my birthday, which was two weeks ago or three? Yeah, two weeks ago. And I was so surprised because it's still in very good condition. Like, this one is a very durable bag. Like, it's hard. So, it's very sturdy and it's still in good condition. I just had to clean off the dust and then that's it. But basically, I started using this now. Why I put this in my favorites is because when I wear it, like, it feels so comfortable here. I thought it wouldn't be like I thought it'd keep falling, but it's actually not. It's so stable on my shoulders. And I like it so much because it's very classic. Like, it's so vintage. And yeah, I love it. But what I don't like about this bag though is it gets very tight because you can't fully like you can't super open the bag it's hard to fit a lot of things here it's easier to put more items in the Fendi bag compared to this one even if it looks bigger in size so yeah I guess it's in my March favorites even if it I just started using it because I like how it looks so much and how it feels like I don't know that's why I'm starting to use it right now and maybe if you guys want to know how, how it looks like inside and what I put because it's actually kind of different from the Fendi bag but super similar just a little different if you want me to do another what's in my bag on this then just comment down below and let me know because I will for sure I guess that's it for my March favorites video I'm sorry that there are so many distractions like First of all, I get so pissed because there are so many flies and they're just flying around me. I don't know why they fly around me. Like, they go in front of the camera and then they go to my face and all that. It's just so annoying. And then the lighting is so bad. See, now the sun went down so it's kind of like not bright on my face. And then also the noise. The motorcycles are so noisy. They're so loud. Just so annoying. I'm sorry. If I'm this annoyed, you guys are probably annoyed by watching this video. But I hope you guys actually watched the whole video and enjoyed this one. And I hope I, I can also do more monthly favorites. You know, this is a new thing for me. And I just wanted to try it out. So yeah, that's it. That's basically it. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video despite all the distractions and the annoyance. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys soon. Bye!